In this video, we're going to talk about how you can refine your mask after using the AI Quick Mask tool. So for this image, I want to mask out this sky area and replace it with a new sky. But there's a bunch of different trees and little lines that we need to refine after we create the mask. So to create this mask, I'm going to go into my masking tools, and I'm going to select my AI Quick Mask tool. So to begin the AI Quick Mask tool, I'm going to paint on in red all the areas that I want to remove from my photo. Now I'm going to hold down Alt or Option if you're using Windows, and I'm just going to paint on green the areas that I want to keep in my photo. Once you have the areas painted on that you want to remove and keep, you can simply head up and click Apply. So now it's giving a preview of that mask that we created. And it actually looks pretty good in here. There's a few different areas around this bridge that we could clean up and some areas around these trees, but we can always use our refine tools to do that. So let's go up and click done. So now we have that sky area masked out. So let's go and we'll add a new layer. And I'll find a sky layer here. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger and position it so it's at the top of my photo. There we go. Now I'll just drop this sky layer below my base layer. And you'll see over here in this bridge and in these trees, we have a lot of cleaning up to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here so we can work on this right side first. So I'm just going to head into my refine tools here and I'm going to make sure I have my refine brush selected. I'm going to make sure it sets a paint out. And I'm also going to make sure that in my layers, I have my base layer selected. Now I'm just going to paint this on. And it's going to remove a lot of those white areas from my mask and refine it a little bit so we can see through those trees. So now I'll just move over to the other areas in my photo and I'll just kind of repeat the same process. For this bridge area right here, I'm actually going to paint in part of the mask before I paint it out just so I can bring in some of these lines in the structure so that it looks a little bit more natural. So I'm just going to hold down shift and hit X on my keyboard so that my refine brush is set to paint in. And now I'm just going to brush this area on that I want a little more of the mask to be shown. Let's do it one more time. So now let's hold down shift, hit X twice to go back to paint out. And now let's paint this out to remove any of those white areas from our bridge. There we go. Now let's move over and do it again to this far side of the bridge. And now I'm actually going to paint in so that I can paint in this railing right here. So let's hold down shift, hit X, and we'll paint in this railing. And I'm just going to kind of repeat that same paint in and paint out process on a few of the other areas on this photo. So there we go. Now let's go all the way back to the beginning area. And this time, instead of using our refine brush, we're going to head up to that toolbar and we're going to grab our chisel tool here. And the chisel tool is great because it chisels away at the border around your mask, which is great for when we're refining trees. So let's go in and let's just brush this on to remove any of that excess border around our mask. So 
So now let's paint just a little bit more in on this bridge. Boom. And now let's zoom out real quick here. So now I'm just going to grab my crop tool. I'm going to hold down shift and pull up on it a little bit. Then I'll just pull it down. Hit enter. And now we have a nicely cropped photo. So now I'm going to head over to my layers pane here. And I'm going to click on this sky layer. And I'm just going to head into the develop tab here. And I'm going to remove some of the contrast. And you'll see that by removing that contrast, it really was able to blend a lot more of those whites with the trees behind it into the naturalness of the photo. So now I'm going to right click on a layer and I'm going to select new stamped layer. So what that did is that merged these two layers together and then duplicated them so that I have a brand new layer with all of these different components in one. So I'm just going to head into my effects here. I'm going to add a filter and let's just add a LUTs filter. And I'll go into my black and white category and I'll grab a nice moody black and white. And now if we head up to our layers and we reset this bottom layer and we turn this photo off and on, you'll see we did a good job of separating the foreground and the background using our different refine tools.